in today's tutorial, I'm going to be going over how to use the rigid body joint. So this will allow you to have like a hinge on your objects so that they'll swing and they'll hinge off that. So this is great for kind of swings or an object that's hanging from something. Or in the other example, we're going to do pinning cloth. So the top of the cloth will stay up where it's supposed to be. But the bottom of the cloth will kind of swing around so you can have nice capes or curtains or anything like that if you change it to the right uh, settings. But anyway, let's go ahead and get straight into this tutorial. All right, so let's go ahead and start off with this little board I created. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is come over here to the physics panel. And we're going to go ahead and change this from static to rigid body joint. Now, if this is not showing up, that means you're not in Blender game, so you can just come up here and change this from Blender Render or Cycles Render to Blender Game, whichever one you have by default. Now that you're in there, this will show up. Now, one more thing we need to do is go ahead and enable collision bounds, and the reason for this is this is gonna give your object a nice collision bounds. If you don't have that, it's gonna have like a, a spherical kind of shape like that, and you don't want that, so you wanna change this to whatever type you have. In this case, box will work. So, if we go ahead and come over here to the constraints, we want to go ahead and add a rigid body joint. Now, what we want to go ahead and do is when this drops, we want the side to be kind of pinned, or in other cases, people would like to call it hinged, or whatever you want to call it. Basically, when this falls down, this other side is going to be connected to... Um, well, in this case, it's just going to be connected to a point, but I mean, in your game, you'd actually have it connected to something, or it looks like it's connected to something, so that... It will swing nicely off this point so uh, let's go ahead and do this so first thing we're going to go ahead and do is enable linked collision and display pivot now that we've done that you can see we have this here now this is where it's going to be hinging from so if we leave it right now what it would do is it would balance perfectly because there's no different way it's exactly the same so what you can go ahead and do is you can use these sliders and they're going to change it to the point where you want it to hinge from. So we could say there and there. Now, one thing you'll note is when we press play, nothing happens. And before it used to be up to this and this would work perfectly. Um, but this puzzled me for a little while. So how do we get this to work? And uh, just today, actually, I stumbled upon how to do this by accident. So the way you can do this is go Shift A and you're going to go ahead and add an empty. And any kind of empty will work fine, but uh, you just want to put it somewhere in your scene where it's not going to be in the way. So I'm going to put it under here. Now, what we want to go ahead and do is select our object, come to our rigid body joint, and we're going to go ahead and select the target, and we're going to select this empty. So now that we've done that, this is connected to this in a certain way. Um, so if this was to move, then that will move, so you don't move this, at least you want them all to move. But now that we've done that, You'll see it won't work. Now, the reason for this not working is we need to go ahead and change this to a physics object. Now, I know this is a bit complicated. I think it might be a bug that you have to do all of this, but for now, this is what you have to do. So we're going to change this from no collision to a static mesh. Now, we also want to go ahead and enable collision bounds and ghost. So basically, what we're doing here with ghost is it's just making this object basically a no collision object, even though it has collision so uh, any object any physics object will go straight through it and here changing it to static we're changing it from a no collision to a static so it means it is actually a physics object now and it has to be a physics object because blender won't let you do anything unless it's a physics object and we have to enable collision bounds I'm not sure why it won't work without that so you just need to enable all three of those and now you'll see it falls how it's supposed to swings and it's really neat and you can just go ahead and duplicate the surrounded stuff and as you can see that one is bouncing off it now one thing to know is you can also do this with multiple so we can add another rigid body joint and we can go ahead and come here and select empty just do all the same things and we can go ahead and uh, move this point here and maybe this one along here and now you see we get this weird kind of effect where it's hinged here and it's hinged here so we get it hinging in a certain way so that's the way you could go ahead and do it you could put one here and here and it'll hinge in a nice way you can also use these different types that hinge one um, now I'm not going to go into those but you can go ahead and look at them so quickly before we finish up this tutorial um, we're going to go ahead and add a plane 
and we're going to go ahead and move this up and we're going to subdivide this so this is quickly showing you how to use the um soft body um and then we're going to go ahead and come here to rigid body joints so it's just showing you how to use it with soft body so we're going to come here select empty it's pretty much the same thing so we can go ahead and also move this if we like and it's basically going to get the closest vertex and that's the one it's going to pin and then we can go ahead and come here and we're going to disable shape match here and this is going to let it be a lot smoother so as you can see um it's a lot smoother i'm not sure what's going through and if you don't want if you want the background to show through just add a material change your back face cutting off so there you go as you can see all the physics stuff is working if you want to see uh, more tutorials like this and tutorials on other subjects i come out with a new tutorial every single week in the blender game engine go ahead and subscribe and you'll see those and you will learn how to use the blender game engine better and you'll be able to create awesome awesome games i hope so have a great week keep blendering have any ideas for tutorials go ahead and comment down below because i'm always looking for tutorials for what ideas for tutorials thanks